Uh, hello, this is Miss Diddy. Uh, I will show you how I um, edit my video with uh, Premiere Element. Uh, I use Premiere Element 14 for uh, this project. Um, so I can show you how I do my video. Um, so I, did, uh, I, think, I think it's obvious, like, there's a, a notch of uh, quality difference. So it will be a little guide for uh, the new guys who want to make a video like I do and maybe they can discover a new idea to make better video for the everyone so let's start um, first uh, ob obviously uh, you have to um, record yourself uh, playing the game and here I start I just click to record while I, I'm playing so uh, I'm playing and recording at the same time the game so you have to record yourself while playing and you have to record your s your games while you play so you have two video files you work most to make like really cool uh, video to uh, watch so I'll put the file in the video editor this is so you have the well and the games running so in the video editor uh, when you do a, like a, a presentation for your video you, you can add some like titles and stuff like this so I, I use Photoshop to uh, make my titles like mm, like it does multiple layer and it's like you just do like form and whatever you want uh, to circle uh, and it's like t t t it's all the automatic on the, the video editor so you just delete this file uh, this uh, layer so you just have one layer with uh, like a straight line and I just cut on the hair on the corner so I will put this title and um, that's the dirt ready logo like uh, there's like two layer you can like just like save the file and mm, PSD and like just leave it like this or uh, add some shadow so when, when you display it like on a, on the video it's like it will look with the shadow like I, I do but uh, with an example without uh, we'll leave it like this that's the file so every it's already saved so I will use the dirt will go so it's just like a four file but so I will start like uh, normally like uh, there's a multiple track like uh, audio video one audio video two video two I think when when I used like uh, Premiere Pro like the all the video was all the way on the top and all, all the audio was all on the bottom but how it's like with the consumer versions like it's more confusing because all the tracks are all together so example like it's just the well oh, no. and check you the audio track under like, uh, and this the first layer is like first layer and the second layer you can like easily uh, resize uh, the video and like you put together but first you have to remember I did start 
to record with my cam first so I, I know like like when I started to play I did click on the keyboard so this is the point I know about when I did start to click So I just have to rewind and boop and it click just there. So I know it's like to sing bold video I did click around there. So when I started to record with shadow play it's around here. Because uh, the sound is too loud for our premiere, so I'll just be this 15. Sorry about it. So you you leave it like to, to run and play. So you have to find a point like it would be exactly on sync. So you have. Make sure when you record with your camcorder, you, you see a little bit what's happening on the screen. So you can sync both video easily. So you see, uh, that's like the bumper just show there. So you have to adjust the video of the wall, the left cam. So revive to adjust the time so you see the bumper ah now you see the bumper ah, okay so we're close so you can like zoom on the timeline and you just 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 by one one oh it's not there yet one frame so this is exactly on sync Continues at 100, over bump, right six, bump dip, caution slowing, into right five, into hairpin right, you have picture on picture with the well and on sync. So, how to know where to cut, what, like, I did play a long time and I did a couple of accidents. I think this is the last part. So you use like the audio line to know exactly around where you played. So I set it to record, so I know it's like the last crash is about around here because there's no audio. Uh, oh shit! So I'll just make a quick one. So I just got here. I uh, can press a uh, control K so you have to select with shift to select both and you press control K to cut so both then you press again the old shift and you click both and you press delete so now you have a, a short gameplay both in sync So not so yeah. So now now both video are on on sync. You have to focus on the presentation. So for the presentation, uh, you have to. So I use a uh, media player classic to, like, to uh, play back. Uh, oops, play back. 
like give have the to well so you have to find the video of to well with Windows Media Player Classic. Like <coughs> see okay, I'm coming and here. So first you save the picture of your own gameplay like on the camcorder. So I'll show you very fast with the because I want to show you how to make it, the key keying with the Premiere element okay. uh, I mean, yeah the key keying with Premiere element but you have to use Photoshop to be able to do the keying so it starts from scratch this is the picture of what I was playing and you just want to have to well see so I used the polygon the many tick uh, lasso so you click on the lasso like you, know, you have a couple of options of the, the lasso like uh, if you want to make square or whatever uh, if you want to deselect you, you hold control and D to deselect but we will use the uh, polygon lasso because you have to do it really fast because I don't have a, a, lot, a, lot of to, a lot of time to edit my video so this is the pointer you slide everything so you know that the well start around here so okay make it slide around the wall and cut under click double click so now you have to well select so from here you make a new layer you select layer a new layer so you have a, a new layer so it's a transparent layer so you can you have to hide this and there's a transparent layer but it's still select you see like it's still selected because the screen is it's like uh, it's white so it's hard to see so what i do is like i, I put like the you have to select and you have to filter it uh, i use 15 so it's make the, the transparent style and you, you select the first layer but be sure that you have to you remove the background so, okay so you see just like the, to set the screen and just this part is select so you use the, the paint bucket and you use the white color for the paint bucket very important so the paint bucket have to be white so you click on this part is white and you deselect and you save the file as file save as for example the to the well so we have our world like select for the image keying so we have your king we will put like on the project asset the, the well you, you see like uh, just a white part is supposedly the well so here you have uh, the image of the, the video I was playing with the cam so you used effect and you search keying just key okay like you have the options like blue screen chroma key green key image mate key in my key and track mid key you can use track mid key like you put uh, another uh, track and put your uh, well psd uh, on a, another track but now they have like image mate key that's it's much easier to use so we will use uh, image mate key 
so this is the video of the well whoa okay sorry so, so here you have the image make key so it's not reverse and you have to use the mate alpha because alpha is white so we will search for the file with the well oh, the, it's not the project but anyway so you, here you have like the well it's like only the well is selected and you can like move the well whatever you want you can even put on the, the, the side or there but the, I, I put it on the corner on the, the left because you can see everything so it gives something like this so you only see the well and like the game running at the same time So I just finished there. So click, 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 click. Yeah, it's it's long because uh, oh, okay. So I uh, will reduce the the camera and stop it there. So you have also have the option like. Uh, to fade in and fade out the audio and video so they it's much easier like uh, fade in fade out audio and video boom so you can separate and link the audio videos like if you want to remove the tracks so uh, we use this as example I will unlink the audio from when we well when we run playing with the well so we just delete this shit boom and if you don't want to uh, make things easier you delete like uh, an, e an existing track so when you put more track you just add more track so we mostly work I think we think we maybe we need more video track so then we need Maybe four video tracks and more at my track. Well, but that's more video track and audio track to work on. So why did because the here the replay? So you have to make sure that the race is finished, and when it start the replay, you cut there. So press control K to cut this part and you have this and like this is the replay part I think the game and this is the end of the race okay, so I record there because I did record another angle of the replay so this is the third person cam so this is the replay cam third person cam and uh, while I was playing so we want to replay cam and the third cam to be in the gameplay overlay so it's uh, basically the same thing with the the well but it's a little bit harder to sync those because you have to find the exact spot to put the track on but first you have to select both with your old shift and you click on both so it's both are selected and you press ctrl c to copy them and you Paste them with Ctrl V to have both copy of the replay cam and the third person cam. And since we need those, 
people would use them for the real time gameplay of the video. So you can hide those, like this is the by clicking on the site, so we, so you don't see anything. Just hide those layer for meanwhile. But yeah, I think uh, it didn't cut this part properly. So this you have to cut where the video and oh, so you know this is where it finished. So again. Make sure it's just only this one is selected and you press Ctrl K to cut and you delete this part. So like both we do about the same size, so you know like the replay both files are about at the same place. But I, I know from experience that they just one frame more for the the first replay. So if you they align together, it's like they they exactly the same time. So you know, like they just want that this longer. So you know that both right now are on sync. So you make sure that you, you adjust both like align together yeah. you know that the replay cam and the third person cam replay is on sync um, yeah okay so okay we'll focus like to to uh, sync or we I will add the, the video too because uh, it does take a lot of processing power and it's hard to edit. So we'll just see like the game take out. So you just have to focus one video at a time. So don't try to make everything together, you just make one thing at a time to make things easier. So you make sure you, actually, you hide you add uh, some video because if you like is it too much shit, too much video uh, video layer at once it's really hard like to uh, to edit and it's harsh on the the CPU because uh, everything is like in slow motion it's, like just like uh, I press space to play back it's a right five it like like no tomorrow so so make sure like when you is it you, you hide some spot so it's easier like to, to is it because when you play that, <laughs> not too much video all over the place is it to make it it. and it's like this it's smooth okay so let's start uh, to sync so I think it's about the three second two If I uh, let's guess maybe it's at five four three two one four. Oh, it's about on sync. This is pretty much hard because I watch this video and like uh, I move the timeline at the same time with the arrow. So you see, you have to tell like when you advance 27, 28. Like, okay, at 28, the car start to move. Okay. So you know like at 28 the cross start to move. After you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, okay at 5, so there's 5 frame, 
the car start to move so you see uh, like 40 kph so you zoom in and you know like it's 5 frame late 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so you see 5 I think it's on sync. Uh, anyway, so how it looks. Guys, that's five continues at 100 over bump on right to left, bump to dip. Caution slowing. It's a right five. It's a half in right. So it seemed to be on sync. So, uh, so you know, this it the other video here. It was on sync with this one. So you know you have to align this video and this video together. So now you have one, two, three, four video on sync all together. So from here it's very really easy. It's like you, you resize, put on the corner. And now you have multiple with video line together on sync so you see like this video was like a little bit too large because it hide everything in the scenery so what I use is to crop so you search crop type crop and you have crop so let's do it fast that both have crop so here it's like the, in the crop options like you have the bottom the right top and the left so you start everything at zero and what I use is like the bottom stay the same I use 15% for the replay so it's not too square, just in a square and you can adjust like the position of the video so you can adjust like by number or you can just simply uh, scroll with you by clicking over the video and like, move it where you want it so you click the other video same thing but I will use 20% by the left and right the cropping so you see like the video is still just there so now into left by the 60 keep right over the crest and then next step right effect 80 QQ that exists next thing the gameplay in the background and often like I just finished with the replay and third person cam we don't need it anymore so you can take both and like you to make it cleaner like you fade in and you fade out the uh, the audio video but you don't need the video track because it makes too much audio and you just only need one audio track so you delete both track and delete but make sure like when you delete your stuff uh, on the timeline you hold shift and delete and press delete because if you like, just delete it, it it will move everything in the timeline it, it fuck up everything so it, uh, just make sure when you delete stuff you hold shift on your keyboard and press DD. So hold shift and DD. Okay, so now we have like a, almost a complete video. But there's no logo, it's like there's just like the actual animation and both track. So let's make some random title to make it look 
more professional so I will use like uh, but you know it's like you have to weld but you don't have need to record everything on the weld so we will cut time with the weld from here because we don't need it like uh, we you start to pay from this time so it's like when you start only the car is coming and it's like you have to uh, title animation okay. let's put on like uh, on the check video 5 so you see like a huge bore oh we can make the bore longer like it's sent for like 8 seconds but make it 5 So you can you have to adjust, make sure that you to display you see like uh, your bar because you don't know what it what it is, and you move the position. But you can like slice very fast, and you have to retain like the 960 position. So this is the horizontal position. Like you just lay it down on the level you want, and so make sure it's like on position here, yeah, click, press 960. So this is how it starts. Boom. Like we have a bar. But how to make like the bar animate? So how do I animate my bar? Very easy. So first, so I want my bar to come along and what I do is just I cut from here down so this stay on place but I want this part to be animate so what I do is I use the crop functions like you can do whatever you can like make it turning whatever this is part of King and Primer Element that is really strong. So this is the wall bar. So when you're from here, this is here and like all the way along, this is the end of the selected part here. So you want this part to be animate, but you want to like crop just crumble like when it's coming it's coming this way so you know it's like it's on the right so here's like the logo it's like I want this part to be animate and it's cool all the way up and all the right function 100 person boom so this is how it looks but you can make even like more professional it's like you just select the end function and yeah you can even make like the opacity like none so this is animate and put 0% or oh, when it come along let it fade and it's coming Fine. along and you may get made it paid out so again select the opacity make sure you select this part of the beginning this the opacity is at 100% side all the way up this is the end and whoop, zero person like those both ends like 100 person zero person so, like the bar scanning whoop First coming, speed in, and boom. Five. Or you can like reverse the samples, or just like cancel the animation, cancel the opacity, 
on the person okay and you can do like a, a crop reverse if you want okay zero 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 and you know it was on the right and zero on the person so how it look but this is bad because it's like the bar is coming and this goes Five, in the other way. Four. but normally it's like you have to make sure like it's, it's ten so you can always like move this part so it's done a little bit more lo a little bit longer and start to move in really fast uh, it's like you can adjust like the speed of the bar animation Five, two, four, three. so I always start with that and like you saw like uh, I did put some title so you have to new file new title Oh god, wait, what the hell, okay. oh. I don't see anything, not I'm right, Mr. D, in media, oh you can choose like other animations, Oh, oh, it looks cool. Can drop the shadow, adjust the angle you want. Can adjust like, the distance. Oh, let's go with that. Mr. D Game Media. But they have some choice, like can like some animation style so let's put some animations fill in by character okay, let's go fill in by character but this is bad because like when, when you, you do that They don't show. Yeah, we'll just render like a, a very small part so it's easier to, to tell what's happening. Then when it's too rough, you can like render the file so you can see exactly about. It's easier like to render so it's all the animations like run really smooth instead of like uh, trying to work and you don't see anything. Yeah, it's long to render the part once it's AV and like you have like multiple pair uh, of video. <coughs> ah, let's wait a bit. Uh, it won't be take too long. Two seven, two eight, two forty. Sorry. Okay, so this part is render. You see, like, like it, it pop out too fast. Like it doesn't stay there. So what I do? Is I freeze, so I make it come faster. So the animation is like boom. Okay, so it come really fast. But yeah, I think that's when it all make more sense to put it there. So it's a deep gaming media. But yeah, what do I do with that? Easy. So what you do is like uh, you copy the file and you paste 
with the just next to it. So it's like it kind of double. Okay. Here does a trick. Press clip and the video option, and the you frame all and you all done to the out point. So you know it's like the out point, like it's complete and it stay there. So you can make it even longer if you want. And then you can like make it like fade out and ready. Boom. Okay, uh, just animations like one hundred percent and zero percent. So now it look. It's like you have that red bar. And they even have the, the effect of like there's a preset the fast blur out. This is really cool. But there's a, a fast blur out. Five. And you can even make it like longer. So yeah. Five. Look professional. So yeah, what about like the dirt logo? Well this is extremely easy. I'll show you fast. Oh shit. I don't have uh, enough uh, video tracks so I'll add more one more more video track. So there's a video track number seven. Okay. Oh fuck up. I will remove every video. So I will add all of them because uh, you will see nothing and it will just stutter on the previous screen. So here you have it, the, 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 the famous third logo. So it's like it's already transparent. I did cut it somewhere. I won't tell you the trick, but yeah, you need something that is transparent in the background and the only the layer is dirt ready. So to make it spin, very easy. So, you know, so let's use a time, like, this is Six seconds, okay. And you want to make the logo spin a full 360 for two seconds. So you use the timeline and you see uh, two seconds, like stop 18. Okay. So this part is only two seconds. So you use the effect and you use the 3D effect. Uh, yeah, I think uh, show on 3D. So it does the ba basic 3D. So, how do you do that with the basic 3D? Sample. That's just world 0, top 0, distance image 0. So, without this, like you see, like you can move. So you know it's like you want two, uh, one, two seconds 360, so you have to scroll up, so you enable the animation to several so person. And this is exactly two seconds, and it make a 360, so it turn on itself one time. Boom. So, well, yeah, this is kind of not good looking when you do that, but you have to control copy, paste it, and slide it next to it. But to make it easier, it's like you copy two and you paste it again. And you select both, slide next to it, and repeat, copy, paste. And 
repeat again, copy all of them and paste and save all of them, copy all of them, paste. Oops. I just don't like it to all stick together. So it make a huge line of the same thing. Copy and paste. And align them all next together. Copy and paste. Alright. Now we have the third to go animations like all together the same thing. And all the parts you don't need you remove. That simple and you fill up the last one so that's so how it looks into left 560 keep right over crest and if you enable uh, the view let's make a full video fully animated well, I think it was maybe uh, useful for you maybe not, maybe not if you don't want to do the thing but I warn you it's like it's harsh on the, the rendering so yeah it will take a lot of time to render this but it looked cool well uh, thanks for watching